rules in some definite integrals problem. Now by definition, definite integrals is defined by exactly the limit and summation of the net area between a function and the x-axis. Now your notation for today for a definite integral will be the integral from a through b of your function f of x dx. Now your a here is your lower limit and your b will be your upper or higher limit. Now to illustrate the area under the curve using this definite integral process is given by this illustration. So we have a function here given that the interval AB is right here. Finding the area under the curve requires us to perform the definite integral process. So we'll have the area under the curve for this particular function. And we're going to have more example of this later on. But visually, this is what's happening when we're using definite integral in our um, problem sol solving. Now for my first example, we have to find the area under the curve of the function f of x equal to the square root of x dx within 0 and 1. Now if you're going to graph the function square root of x, it's going to look like this. However, the question is to find the area under the curve within the interval 0 and 1. So we'll have here the interval from 0 to 1 and I shaded the area under that curve and to find this area in this curve we will be using our definite integral process. Now our notation now we can change it into the definite integral from 0 to 1 of square root of x, square root of x dx and to uh, evaluate this we just need to find the integral of x raised to 1 half because we're changing our radical into exponential form so that it's easier to integrate or to use the antiderivative rule. So the antiderivative of x raised to 1 half or this time the integral of x raised to 1 half is x raised to 3 over 2 all over 3 over 2 from 0 through 1. We can further simplify our function so we can easily substitute our values into 2 thirds x raised to 3 over 2 from 0 to 1. Now to evaluate the area under this notation, we simply need to substitute our upper limit through x subtracted to the same function, but this time you will substitute the value of the lower limit which is 0. That is why I have 2 thirds 1 raised to 3 over 2 minus 2 thirds times the lower limit of 0 raised to 3 over 2. And we know that every, when we multiply 2 thirds to 0, this will cancel out. So we'll end up with 2 thirds times 1, which is equal to 2 thirds. That means the area under the curve for the function f of x dx within 0 to 1 is equal to 2 thirds unit squared. And that's how we use the definite integral in solving problems similar to this one. Now for our second problem, we need to find the area under the curve for x plus 2 dx within the interval 0 and 3. To translate the function into its in integral notation, we'll have the definite integral from 0 to 3 of x plus 2 dx. Now to evaluate the definite integral, we just need to find or to use our antiderivative rules. So the integral of x is x squared all over 2 and the integral of 2 is 2x from 0 to 3. So notice that we don't need to have the constant anymore because we are evaluating a definite integral. So to evaluate the definite integral, just substitute your upper limit to your function minus your lower limit substituted to your function and you'll have 3 squared all over 2 plus 2 thirds or 2 times 3 minus 0 squared all over 2 plus 2 times 0. So your area under the curve will give us 9 over 2 plus 6 minus 0 because this term will cancel out and we'll end up with 21 over 2 units squared. So the area under the curve for the function x plus 2 dx within 0 and 3 is 21 over 2 units squared.